Chat mm. beautiful people, welcome back on the desk. Happy Wednesday. Today I'm very excited because I can finally showcase my blue butterfly journal. It's finished, finally. It took me months and months and months of work. Tons of different projects that are available here on, on YouTube for you guys to, to watch if you are interested. And at the end of the video, I will put the link just down below where this journal is for sale. And as per all my previous journals, first come first served. So the listed price that you see on my website will be before shipping. So because this journal can be shipped anywhere in the world because there is not, um, yeah, it is, it's easy, but ship, it, I can ship it anywhere. So you just pay for the journal first. And once I calculate the uh, shipping cost for you, you just do uh, a second payment with the shipping cost. Uh, if you purchase this by mistake, it's not returnable because I had previous issues with people that bought it and then decided not to buy anymore. So yeah, and this, there is a lot of prices involved with my website and commissions and I don't, you know, just buy if you really want it, put it that way, okay? Just not waste anybody's time. So, right, let's crack on. Let's um, do a completely fit, flip through. So the, the cover is a canvas, which I print on top one of my papers. So it looks like this. So it's a really nice clean journal. I like clean look as well as complicated looks. <laughs> but for this journal, I want the cover to be quite plain, quite... Um, yeah, tactile. So I don't know what you can see on the screen. Oh yeah, if I zoom in, you can see the canvas texture. Okay. I don't want this video to be unnecessarily long. So we're just gonna, you know, give it, just go page by page, but of course, I'm kind of speed it up a little bit. Okay. There is um, all the papers I have used here, that you can buy them on my website, but you can buy as a part of the workshop. On the workshop, there is a video I showcase how to put the signatures in. Okay, so there's two signatures here. So on the step-by-step -step how to make the actual signature, there is that on part of my workshop. So with my workshop, you get the video, the ebook, and four different paper packs to make this journal. Yes, you're very welcome. <laughs> so uh, there are some of the pages on my book, on my... Um, part of the workshop but also some papers that might from my stash and also what I always say with my digital papers the beauty of digital papers that you guys can print them on anything this page here for example has been printed on music sheets you no know? so this is the back and then on front I just put the music sheet through the printer and then it print this on top this is a, a border that we made together a while ago and these are uh, digital uh, uh, coffee and tea stained paper, okay? This is the little pockets that we did together. Again, some or more music sheets printed. So that's the back and that's the front. Just a little tip to give it to you guys. This is some uh, rubber on stickers and this is the serial liners. And journal, junk journals are the best way to upcycle or recycle everything that you have into your house. This is another little pocket, let's believe. So it's a square pocket. So there's plenty of space for journal. This we made this on Monday, and I will put the link at the end of this video when we made these paper clips. And also at the end of the video, I'll put a link on how to make these using the plain the plate uh, template, <laughs> if I can speak from my papers and it's plain black on the back okay so the paper clips literally touch to that and then you just push it down and stay like that okay and that is the that's the back there are some more papers this is the some envelopes that we meet uh, we made together do you remember guys a while ago so you can put your ephemera here and it says brave what else is in here? Another printed music sheet printed, another pockets, some of my papers. This is some magazine papers. Uh, we made this together, some acetate tags. It's attached with some pins on top, so I don't want to remove it because it's gonna it's gonna take a little while to put it off. And there is a little fairy. We love fairies, don't we? Just to bring you some luck and some ideas as well. So this is a tag that we made together. That's the that's the back and that's the front. 
there's tons and tons of hours of work behind this journal so i hope you can appreciate that and also i'm glad that i'm selling it because i want to gift it a part of my creation part of me to you this is another belly band page corner that we made together and then some pages with some tabs these are some um, ephemeras that we did together they can be used as a tap pot so you can put i don't know um if i put this paper here it can be tucked in in there in fact let's do it together let me just trim the white bit off because i don't like that so you can have a build this paper as well in the journal Just fold it in a half, guys, so you guys, if with the person that will receive this journal, can do anything that she or he wants with that. Oh no, it won't fit, so I'm just gonna fold it again in a half. Okay, just some extra papers. Will it close? Yeah. So another page, just here for um, journaling. Uh, there are some book pages as well papers some are left in blank so you guys can journal in on that and then there is different texture this is cardstock and then there are original ephemera that i've got from um, antique markets so these are um oh yeah this is some advertisement papers mm, from 1956 19 sorry 1955 1956 and I just put a blue paper clip. So yeah, you get all sorts in this journal. Some more pages, book pages, some of my digitals. Oh, I love that. And then some bookmarks. This is, was one of the freebies I have shared a couple of weeks ago. Another pocket there. So you can put your ephemera. Page of the kit. This is the magazine. I really, really like the wolves, so that's why I've just put in there. A bit random, but I do like it. This is another ephemera that we can use as a tuck spot. Some blank pages. So it's a mixture of extremely decorated pages and some um, blank pages for you guys to to create or journal. So this is a pillow box that I'm gifting you guys. It's cardstock. It's really, really thick. So you just need to uh, score and fold that and then build it up. So it's a little extra gift. Then some glitter papers. I love glitter papers. Uh, this is one on another one of the postcards that we made together. And it's in a little pocket. Uh, this is an original vintage from, does it say what year? I'm sure it was around the 50s. Um, it's from an antique an antique market place here in Sheffield. And then I print some of the pages into vellum. So that's the front. Another one of the tags that we made together, the specimen tags, There's some doilies, some serial liners, some digitals, Some more glitter paper. That's another postcard with a little pocket there. This we made this uh, not long ago. Was it last week or the week before? The little shakers with the acetate. So I just put them in there. So there's two. And this is just um, flip up papers. Some more doilies. The cereal. That's the back. And this is uh, an original envelope from 1964. This is the address of the lady. Uh, this is another postcard with another paper clip that we did um, on Monday. So that's the front, that's the back, and that's the postcard. So again, you just attach it there. And you just literally pull it down like that. 
some more book pages. Oh, this is the um, trims that we did um, together a couple of either last month or the month before. I went to a charity shop, not to Antique Market, and I saw somebody that made this lace. And Jamie said, oh, you can make this. But they were like on a sort of like a bow shape. So I took inspiration for that and um, I made them. I love this sort of ribbon. Um, another envelope. It's just some blank page. Some gold. Oh, love. Look how amazing it's got. Because there was some gold here. So I thought, let's put some gold. So, oh, I love it. Some more book pages. There's just some decoration. Some more envelope. In here, there is an original letter. Oh, the smell of this. Oh, proper, proper old. Uh, not sure, it's not dated, but uh, it feels and looks very old. So, a little treasure for you. And this is the back of the serial liner. This is the back of my vellum paper. And this is the altered um, puzzle pieces as we did together. Some book pages, some more stickers. That, that's the back of the other glitter paper. Some more uh, vellum paper. Some more vellum paper. So yeah, it's loads. You get loads, guys. <laughs> some more vellum, uh, doily. Another piece of vellum. And this is another advertisement from the 50s. So I just left it here. So I like the fact that it's blue. And I think that is it. Yeah, and that's the back. Okay. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this really quick flip through. Um, as I said, this, um, this journal is available for you to purchase. I've put the link. Just follow the link. I will take you straight to my website. And um, yeah, first come, first served. Guys, I will see you on Friday for um, a special freebie. I can tell you there is a page from this lovely uh, journal that I'm gifting to you, of course, on a digital format. Okay, so yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. And guys, if you like this video, please give me a really big thumbs up because it really helps with my journey here on YouTube. Okay, I will see you on Friday, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. And until then, stay safe and well. Mwah. Bye.